Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is the look we're gonna do today. You don't even understand how Tom Long we're gonna get right now. Just wait. Where are you? While we wait for the face mask. channel so today this is kind of a more fresh natural kind of look it's not natural at all but natural I did a sheet mask which y'all saw I love sheet masks um, and I used this peony one for radiance and this one is from the face shop so it was just this one. I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna get started with the brows and the eyes like I always do I'm just taking my Milani Stay Put Brow Color in Dark Brown. And this is actually super good. Like, this is definitely 100% a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Then I'm taking Clean Colors Framus Brows Tinted Brown Mascara that I got off of Shop Miss A for $1. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and I'm going to use this brow gel before I put any product. And I'm just gonna lightly run it through my brows and brush the brow hairs up. I'm just gonna get a little bit of my pomade product. And then I'm just gonna run this through my brows as hair strokes going upwards. Now to clean up my brows a little, I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the color Light Pale. And as always, I'm gonna drag that down onto my eyelid to use my eyeshadow primer. One tip that I have for people with oily eyelids is like, no matter what kind of primer you're using on your eyelids, as soon as you have it on there, you have it blended, I recommend you set that. Like, set that, guys. I think it helps it not to crease so much more. I don't know why I just spoke so slowly. Like, I just couldn't think while I was putting powder on my eyelids. I don't know. Oh, I'm like, like, you don't even really need to do eyeshadow, but this is a makeup tutorial. Like, to. Today I'm using my favorite Tarte Amazonian Clay Pro palette and I'm using the shade Innocent and I'm going to work that through the crease as my transition shade using a Wet n Wild blending brush. And I'm going to be holding my brush way back on the end to allow the color to diffuse more. And I don't know if you guys know it, so the further back you hold, the more diffuse and the less control you have, so the more it'll blend. Closer to the actual bristles will be the more will be more control and will be more precise. So that's a tip. That's a key, y'all. I don't know if you knew that, but now you do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take that color whimsy and I'm, oh, I almost dropped the palette on my white shirt. I am going to be placing this lower into the crease than I did Innocent. Then I'm going to take my Morphe M321 detailing brush. I'm going to take a little bit of edgy, which is this color here. I'm going to take a little bit of edgy. And I'm also going to be taking just a small, teeny bit of mod. This is scary. I feel like this is just going to turn this from a day look to a night look. The gel just so I can see my door. The gel just so I can see my door. Today, not today, no, no. <sighs> anyways, like I was saying. I'm taking Edgy and Mod on my M321 just for a little bit of definition and I'm gonna run it right along the outer V of my eye. Using a small domed elf crease brush, I'm just gonna pack on that color a little bit more. And now I'm just blending using my elf blending brush. I'm gonna take bold on a flat shader brush from, this is from Eco Tools. you can get it from Longs, and I'm just gonna pat that on my eyelid. How come this eye always comes out better than this eye, like? So, 
Now we move on to the face, which I think is the most important part for this look. I've been trying for a long time to kind of perfect this look in a way that works for me and my oily skin. Like, my skin is oily to the point that by, like, noon, I will be, like, you could fry an egg on my face. Like, it's so gross. It's so bad. But a big thing for this is make sure you use products that you know work for you. As always, I'm going to prime my face using the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer and my OG Best Mattifying Primer, the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is my favorite, absolute, absolute favorite. Been using it for years. What I want to do is I'm going to go in with this Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. And it's a translucent one. Now this is going to go against probably everything you know about makeup. Just get a little bit of powder, tap off the excess, and then because I'm so oily, what I'll do is I will just press this into my skin already. And I'm just going to pat that everywhere that I get super oily. My MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation, and I'm in the shade NC42. So this is not um, a 100% that foundation. This gives a more natural skin like finish and this is also lighter wearing for me. In the summer I don't really like to wear too much foundation. And then this is where we're going to add the glow back in. New okay. Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid in the shade 300 Deep Gold. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this into my foundation. Not too much, just a little. <gasps> oh, that was more than a little. Put that all over my face. I'm gonna be using my dupe for those artiste brushes. I got this off Amazon in a set. It was like five bucks, guys. Like, I'll try and link it down below if I find it again. So I'm gonna be using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. I am in the shade C. Oh my god! I'm in the shade CW05 Medium, I believe it is. And then I'm going to take, as always, my Morphe M173 to blend that out. So then I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and I'm going to spray it down with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Which side do I like? I like this side. For oily skin girls, please do not leave your house without setting your face, okay? <laughs> like, you are going to melt. It is so humid outside, you're gonna melt if you don't set your face. So I'm just gonna bake, I mean, we're not gonna bake as long as we usually do, but we gonna bake nonetheless. Woo! My God, I think I've just blinded myself. Honestly, I get so oily around my nose. Like, I look like a crackhead, I know. After baking, I'm just using a stippling brush to press in and sweep all the powder away. I'm taking that Maybelline strobing liquid and I'm going to drop that on the highest points of my cheekbones and use my ring finger to blend it out. Now to finish up the eyes, I'm going back into my Tarte palette using Whimsy and Edgy. I'm going to run that right along my lower lash line just to smoke out the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend it out using my M321 which is clean. Okay, so um, I'd just like to apologize in advance because you're going to hear <sighs> Transformers Rescue Bots in the background because I'm babysitting and somebody just woke up and decided to come visit and he's watching, he's watching Transformers. Okay, so I to apply my lash label lashes in the style wink and I'll be right back my Wet n Wild Caramel Toffee Contouring Palette again, and I'm going to take that channel can hold on. And I'm going to take the bronzer shade, and I'm going to take it on my unicorn brush. I'm going to swirl a little on my small stippling brush from e.l.f., tap off the excess. Now for the fun part, I'm taking Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. It has such a beautiful pan. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray my brush with Fix Plus. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm going to just get... glowy look. I 
really like to go in with clear gloss, but I like my clear gloss like I like it popping. I like it really shiny. So As you can see, I just take a little bit of my highlighter and I brush it right onto my lips. And this really like really makes your clear gloss pop. Clear gloss today I am using this is so old. I do not think you can get this anymore. I'm an OG best clear love gloss I have ever come across in my entire life and it is the NYC roll on lip gloss in 601 strawberry okay like this is like middle school like this is like my sister's middle school like I stole this from her a long time ago sorry he I stole your lip gloss that looks scrumptious I'm gonna set my face a little bit with the MAC Fix Plus. I'm gonna face this way because my fan's blowing, okay? I like to shower in this, okay? Like... <laughs> and see, that also, like, do you see the, like, glow that that gives you just on its own? Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> My camera battery died, so I went ahead and I just did my hair, and yeah, that was kind of it. I just did my hair, and I watched Naruto, but outro take three. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. This is what it's looking like. It's just very glowy, very bronzy, radiant summer glow, especially good for my oily skin friend. If you guys liked this video, if you did, then please don't forget to like it and comment down below. Also, if you're not already, please subscribe. And if you guys have any suggestions or any requests or anything like that, then you can go ahead and you can leave those down in the comments as well. I'm disappointed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Other than that, that's all for today, or that's all for this look, I should say. Thank you so much.